Hello and welcome to my third Let's Fix It. This time we're gonna be doing something a little different. Um, because this time I'm not gonna be repairing um, an old or a broken video game console, but um, an old um, Lego Duplo train, as you might have already read in the title. So my father sent this over to me and um, when I took it out of the package it looked like this. <laughs> so yeah, it looked basically fine. Um, the problem was that it's supposed to move and it didn't. Uh, even when you put batteries inside it just did nothing when you try to turn it on. Nothing at all happened, um, but yeah, first uh, to give you a better idea of what I'm even talking about here, this is what the package looked like. Um, I don't have the package, <laughs> but yeah, I found this online. And yeah, this is the exact model as far as I can tell, um, the same train that I have right now here, or rather just the engine wagon, um, which was broken. Um, yeah, so actually I already did some fixing before I decided to do more on camera. Um, and yeah, to be honest, it's uh, already kind of fixed. But I still think this is going to be interesting because you don't see stuff like this that often on YouTube. At least I don't. Um, and also... Um, yeah, I can still show you everything that I've done and tell you about it and tell you what the problem was. And so I still think this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, the hardest part um, about this, I can just show you what it looks uh, looks like right now. So this is the train I just showed you in the picture. This is like the battery compartment, but as you can tell, it's already kind of separated. So you can take off the bottom part, this thing here. So I'm just gonna show this from all sides so that uh, also people who try to repair this can already get like a better idea of what it's uh, supposed to look like or what it's uh, looking like on the inside. Um, I hope you can see this properly. So yeah, that's that. Um, this is like the inside of yeah the, the main part. So let's get this close to the camera as well. So the wheels you can just take off. These are the engine part wheels, kind of. I don't know what to call them, but the ones that are like moved by the motor. Um, and yeah, the front wheels come off as well, just like that. Gonna put this all to the side and then you are left with this. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So yes, yeah, you can probably still see, um, this one contact here is pretty corroded. So let's get this close. You can still see it, although I've already cleaned it up. And yeah, I hope you can see it kind of. Yeah, now you can, I think. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty corroded, but believe me, it looked a lot worse when I got it. So probably some battery acids built on the inside and yeah, made this like corrode like crazy. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to realign my camera so you get a better view of this and I don't have to like hold it straight in front uh, of the camera like uh, upside. And um, then I'm going to show you everything that I've done, at least, well, <laughs> the hardest part, as I told you, uh, I think, was to get this thing open in the first place. And um, well, about how I got it open, that's the thing I'm going to tell you right at the end after I've closed it up and finished everything because I think it's easier to show you on the closed closed thing and not um, 
yeah not in, in this open state it is right now so yeah what I'm gonna do first now is tell you what I did on the inside and um, then I'm gonna <clears throat> clean all the stuff on the inside um, like grease the gears so that everything um, like runs smoothly now that i've got it open once i want to make it perfect so you don't have to open it up um, anytime soon again so yeah that's what i'm going to do now so let's readjust the camera for now i'm going to try to do it while it's running i hope it works <laughs> Okay, so I guess now you can see everything. This is like the bottom part. I hope I put it back inside correctly. Nope, I didn't. This one has to go in this way. <laughs> but everything else should be fine. So... This is the part I was working with first. Well, I before I took it apart, I just took the playing pieces off like um, these just come off like regular Lego Duplo pieces um, the cabin here as well in two pieces so yeah that's what I started with and yeah then I was uh, whoop <laughs> okay things are already falling out like there are two metal parts in here at the, each side um, yeah you can just take them out and put them to the side no problem there um, at least if they do fall out this one seems to be staying inside now I'm just gonna take it out just so this is less heavy so yeah this is what it looks on the inside I don't know if you saw it very well before so yeah when i first opened this up um this corroded one was here in the middle i think i changed its position for <laughs> well i don't know uh, why i decided to do it in the first place maybe it just happened but i think it might not be the worst idea because if there was something specific uh, like a bad contact between this contact and this point on the board then it might not be the worst idea to change it up but well i think the main reason why it's working now and it didn't before is because i cleaned up this contact really really well um, i mean as well as i could <laughs> um, what i use uh, used is like this um, vinegar stuff um, with uh, it's like kind of not as concentrated as it could be but um, it is more concentrated than the regular food stuff you get so it has like 25% uh, of acid and uh, yeah it seemed to be enough to clean up the corrosion from um, from the the contact here um, I mean yeah as you can see it doesn't look like brand new or anything but when I first opened this up this had like green corrosion on it and like um, I used uh, for one thing I used to clean it up was um, a toothbrush very helpful um, and like these q-tips um, to yeah to clean it up and the q-tips turned green when I did this so yeah this was really really uh, nasty <laughs> and uh, the good thing is that these contacts can be taken out pretty easily um, some I could even take out by hand so let me try this yeah this comes out pretty easily as you can see here no problem just comes right out um, it was a bit harder with the corroded one um, obviously because like the corrosion made it uh, kind of uh, stuck in there so I had to use these tweezers and uh, get in from behind there and then pull them whoops pull them out um, with quite a bit of uh, pressure on it and force but it worked out and yeah what I did then as, I, as I've told you I've cleaned up uh, I cleaned it off all the corrosion uh, as well as I could and uh, yeah uh, I'm sad that you didn't see it before because then you would like know how well it turned out 
But yeah, whatever. I, I cleaned it as well as I could. And uh, yeah, then I kind of like uh, moved this part a bit. Uh, like I, I went under here with the screwdriver to pull this out a bit so that there's more, more, more pressure on the battery. And I also like uh, bent this part here down so there's more pressure on this contact down here. And um, yeah, now it's working. <laughs> I can just uh, quickly show you um, by putting in three batteries and um, yep, first one, they all go in the same way. I just hope it's the right way right now. Um, but I think it is. So, yep. As you can see, it is running, obviously without any wheels right now. But yeah, it seems to be working perfectly again. Um, I will do a, more of a demonstration in the end when it's all closed up again. But um, yeah, for now, this shall suffice, I think. Um, so, a bit of a spoiler that it's working, but yeah, I told you that it's already fixed. So, um, what else is there to tell? So, um, I told you about the tools I used. I told you about what I did on the inside. Um, so yeah, I already took out all the contacts and cleaned the board. So, um, let me check. I have like uh, lined up all the tools that I used and I'm just thinking if I'm forgetting about something on the inside. But I think that's about it. Um, what I'm going to do now, as I've told you, is like clean it up as well as I can on the inside. Um, you can take out these little gears here. Um, so, yep, this comes right out pretty easily. Um, there it goes. Second one, it's just the same. It comes out pretty easily as well. Maybe bit support on the other side. So yeah, this one comes out as well. So there they are. Um, yeah, and in some places you can still, maybe you can uh, still still see that, uh, yeah, they are on the plastic. You can see that there's uh, also some, some uh, grease on it. And yeah, that's the stuff that I'm going to be cleaning now, just so that it's all clean on the inside. And then I'm gonna apply a bit of grease to all the gear parts and um, clean off the grease from all the parts where it's not supposed to be. So I hope that in the end uh, everything will be there where it should be. I already took out quite a few um, greasy parts of uh, collected dust and hair and stuff like that. So yeah, <laughs> already did quite a bit of work on this one. But yeah, I'm just gonna give it the final polish and then close it up again. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you how I opened it up in the first place. So yeah. <laughs> Let's get to cleaning then, I guess. Just gonna push in all the contacts right now. Don't wanna take them all out again. And as I said, I already cleaned the board, so yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna put my microphone away for now. So I'm not gonna be talking right now. <laughs>
so I guess all the moving parts um, are well as clean as I'm gonna get them <laughs> as you might have noticed uh, q-tips aren't maybe the best choice I don't know what a good alternative would be because like there are these uh, tiny tiny pieces of uh, thread or fabric don't know what you would call them okay the camera doesn't want to focus like this maybe like this oh well well you know how a q-tip works so yeah they they lose these uh, little pieces of like cotton and uh, so that's not ideal but I think I, I worked it out somehow and uh, it's um, yeah everything should be mostly um, fabric free and uh, um, well all the parts that shouldn't be greasy are pretty clean I think well as clean as I'm gonna get them at least so that's good um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, clean the outside because I don't know if I will like uh, have access to all the uh, parts um, as good as I have right now so what I'm gonna use is uh, like some uh, plastic cleaner this is like in German what it says here like uh, plastic cleaner so yeah this works pretty well from my experience so that's what I'm gonna use and like um, just this uh, Yep. this microfiber cloth to yeah to clean the stuff and um, yeah so let's get going <laughs> So um, I guess I'm all done with cleaning um, at least yeah that's as clean as I'm gonna get things I guess um, so yeah the last thing to do um, before reassembling is to put grease on all the spots that are supposed to be greased um, because I probably took some off of those uh, spots as well um, so yeah what I'm gonna use is just this uh, regular multi multi-purpose grease <laughs> uh, supposedly mainly for uh, the um, uh, thingy on your bike your uh, the, the, the chain <laughs> um, so yeah but I think it will do its job here as well um, so I'm not sure how to apply it uh, ideally but I think since uh, the q-tips uh, have this obvious problem that I just uh, talked to you a few minutes ago um, told you about a few minutes ago um, I think I'm just gonna try to use this um, Phillips screwdriver <laughs> to like apply some grease because then I won't get any hair on it and I think it will be pretty easy to clean um, so shouldn't be a problem to use this um, we'll see if it goes all right or if I should uh, rather use a flathead screwdriver I'm not sure about that yet but yeah I'm just gonna open this up um, and uh, try to apply some grease <laughs>
Okay, so I think I've got enough grease on all the stuff. Um, I'm just gonna quickly wash my hands. I'm right now trying to hold the thing without uh, touching too much, but that's not really working. So I'm just gonna clean the grease off my hands for now and uh, hope that it was enough and hope that everything works fine now. So just a second. Okay, here I am again. Um, I'm not 100% sure in uh, like how, how to put in the gears, but I think I have an idea, but uh, yeah, don't laugh if it's wrong. <laughs> so this, this seems like it won't work. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely not the right one to put in first. <laughs> um, if you think a bit about it, it's pretty obvious. Okay, still got a bit of uh, water on my hands. But yeah, obviously this one comes first because right here into this gear, the one from the motor, like uh, I'm not showing it right. So into this sideway gear, no, you stay down, <laughs> sorry. The cat is uh, trying to jump on the table right now. There's enough cat hair on here as it is, so please don't right now. Give me a few seconds and I will be with you. So yeah, this, this ge gear here has like uh, the sideways gear and this will like go into uh, gr grip into the motor gear. So yeah, that should work fine if I put this one in first like uh, <laughs> well at least theoretically hmm. I am doing something wrong I think Okay, now it's going down. Yep. This has connected. All right, so the next thing is this gear then which will go in just so and now yeah everything is connected together once more so that's great um yeah so i guess the next thing would be to put it all back together and not get any cat hair inside which is quite hard i don't know if you have seen it while i was working on it but there are a lot of uh, cat hairs on my on my sleeve i know that's not ideal to be doing work like this but yeah i can't really help it um, the four cats are pretty much around me all the time and uh, yeah, they also needed a lot of attention while I was doing this, but I think I took more uh, gunk out than I put cat hair back in. So <laughs> I think it should be fine. Um, yeah, otherwise I will have to repair it again, but I hope that won't be necessary. So let's push in all the contacts one last time. So they have contact <laughs> I guess that's what they are supposed to do as their name suggests so let's also fix really really push in the gear thingies all the way down the axis um, so yeah but this seems to be running fine once again I see a tiny bit of cotton I think in this case it's not cat hair but yeah, I'm going to remove this. Yep, 
yeah i think i'm being too um yeah too too perfectionistic i don't know what it's called in english but uh to to um yeah i want it to be perfect but i don't think that uh, one of uh, one or two tiny bits of uh, cotton really make a difference in the long run um so yeah let's try to put it all together again back together again so the next thing i would like to put in would be no 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 you leave <laughs> you leave no don't don't come from back there you leave he was actually sitting behind my back all the time while i was working on it but when i um stood up and went to wash my hands he uh, yeah jumped up as well and now he's on the move again before that he was just uh, lying behind my back no don't come here please i am busy right now uh -uh. and now he's trying to sneak his way right in front of me because like um he's sitting behind the monitor right now and he wants to go under it to come here because i won't let him get here from the side so yeah he can be really annoying so yeah i guess this is what it's supposed to look like obviously it's not really fixed in there need to put in the um, lower part for that but yeah i think this is looking pretty well so let's um put in the second wheel i don't think it matters which way i put this in No, not really. I'll just put it in like this. And um, yeah, here comes the bottom part. Um, let me just check. Yeah, it should be this way around. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost forgot something. This would have been horrible if I would have closed it up and then would have had to reopen it again. <laughs> That was a close one. Still need to put in these metal things that I took out at the beginning. Whoa, that was a close one. Almost forgot. So they go here and here. Not quite sure what their intended purpose is, but I suppose it's just to redistribute the weight to this side so it has more grip on the wheels uh, that like give it traction so yeah i guess that's their purpose yeah that makes sense so <laughs> i figured it out um yeah so this goes back in now and yeah this this should now really be all um i think we are done with this let's just quickly check if it's still working um i think it went in like this i hope the wheels won't jump out now yeah it works perfect so time to close it up i guess <laughs> here is the lower part let's just check that it's uh, there's no obvious dust anywhere <laughs> yeah tiny bit of cat hair so here we go closing it up so i think closing it up won't be as difficult as taking as taking it apart but We'll see about that, I guess. So, yeah. Um, I'm stupid. Don't put it together while the batteries are in. It won't work. <laughs> uh, I'm getting really distracted because like, uh, yeah, the, the cat was like, uh, 
trying to get my attention all the time and really distracting me from the work and now I'm not focused anymore at all so that's not great but yeah I figured it out what was wrong well there was no way this was gonna be able to be put together like this but yeah now here we go <laughs> top part lower part putting it together again <laughs> This time I hope it will work. So yeah, you can see it here, it slides in on this side. Um, okay, tiny fly. On this side it slides in here at the sides. Um, there, there. Ah, someone's coming home, I need to close the door. So. Yeah, so on both sides it's sliding in here and here and well that was the front and here in the back there are two of these that slide in um, and um, yeah I think um, these ones will snap into these holes and these ones will snap in as well so this one as well so it's like fixed on all four sides which was making it so difficult to get it apart i think so yeah now it's snapped in at the first slot here here not quite but now it is um right now nothing is moving here i hope that will change but i think so um yeah pretty sure it will so um, yeah this was like the first step and now to get it completely back together again I need to push it in once more but yeah even getting it together is not that easy <laughs> I wonder if something is wrong here. I'm so scared to put it together because it will be like so hard to take apart again once it's completely put together. So let me just check one last time. sure nothing is wrong at all I'm just <sighs> oh no I know what is wrong I built it together completely uh, flipped like mirrored like when you take a look at it <laughs> here is a little slot for on this side is a little slot for the wheels uh, since I was uh, I was thinking well they are turning everything is fine but yeah obviously I built it put it all in mirrored so uh, whoa this is well I'm glad that I took it apart again as soon as I did and I think I didn't destroy anything so that's good but 
I feel pretty stupid right now, but I will leave it in just so you don't make this mistake yourself. Learn from my mistakes. I did quite a few of those, I think. But hey, it's not like I'm an expert or anything. So flip this. And put it back in. I think everyone who like noticed that I put it in the wrong way during the video um, was like, no, don't do this. So yeah, well, this is wrong again. It goes in like this. But yeah, when one of those is incorrect, uh, in, in it, uh, the first one is incorrectly, um, then you can't go wrong with the second one, I think, uh, because the gears have obviously to have, have to grip into each other. So yeah, I hope I didn't cause any damage to anything, but I think everything still looks fine. Uh, and now we should be able to finally put it back together completely. So yeah, it goes in like this here. Yep, everything is turning once again. Uh, and I noticed this little indent before. It's not like... Uh, uh, I feel stupid. It's, it's not like I didn't notice it. I, I knew that it only can go in one way. I just completely forgot. Like I was uh, first forget the batteries, then f put it in the wrong way. Well, I think I put it in the wrong way first and then forgot the batteries, but still. Uh, well, <laughs> no harm done, I suppose. Um, so let's try this again. Here you can see also on the outside this little um, slot for, yeah, down here, the, the gear. So yeah, <laughs> one more try of putting it together. Um, forgot nothing? No, no, I don't think so. All right, so this snaps in first one here. And now this is still turning. That's a good sign. Now for the final push. Snap. Snap. And it's closed again on all four sides, as it seems. So I'm not going to be opening up this one again. This is still turning. Let's check if it's still working. Um, please be working. <laughs> Otherwise I might cry. Yay! It is still working. That's great. <laughs> uh. All right. Um, so now I can tell you how I opened this thing up. Um, uh, so, well, obviously first you take the batteries out. <laughs> Let's do that once more. Um, wait, this, these are taken out this side first. Yep. Um, so, um, actually I managed to like um, put a screwdriver in here, you can Oh no, the connection stopped. That's not great. All right, so here we are. Um, back again, the video is back on. So yeah, I managed to uh, put a screwdriver in on this side. You can still see the marks. Um, so what I actually did was put in two screwdrivers at once. Um, let me just get this one kind of a bit clean. So I put one here um, and took a second one on this side. And then I, yeah, pushed them in kind of as far as I could. 
and then I pried it open. Obviously it didn't go out all the way, but um, actually I'm on the wrong side. Uh, this one with the one large uh, thingy was the first one I opened. So on this side I did it like that. So I put in one here and uh, one here and then pried on it. Um, and um, yeah, then it like lifted up a bit and you could tell that uh, it's like um, yeah loosened far enough to be able to like pull it out more but it was still fixed here obviously um, and on the other side and uh, well for the other side I um, took advice from another video yeah so the person who uh, did the other video I was talking about is called Marcel Reinieren he's from the Netherlands and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna link his video in the description of my video. And yeah, well, he like built an awesome tool to um, open <laughs> these kinds of uh, Duplo trains. So what he did is he took one of these um, alligator wrenches or pipe wrenches. I don't know what they are called where you are from. <laughs> but yeah, he took one of these and um, well he kind of took uh, then uh, a bit of um, a screwdriver and like taped it <laughs> taped it down here so that you have kind of like a construction like this and yeah what you can do then is like um, go on this little ledge here um, with this side like uh, like so or let me show it up here like so and well I didn't tape it down but it still worked I like um, just fixed it in between then I think I'm trying to do it with I'm not gonna open it but I'm just gonna show you how it's done so yeah this is pretty much it so you have to make the bit connect to the green part and yeah then you have to push <laughs> so let me see if i can show it more properly so yeah something like this and then you push and it actually worked quite well so i don't know if it would have also worked on this side i was just prying and prying it might have worked and it might have done less damage than i did like as you can see here there are marks yeah i'm well i'm a bit disappointed that i couldn't do it better i noticed that it's still dusty but i'm clean, gonna clean that up later so yeah, i'm a bit disappointed that i couldn't clean it uh open it up uh, without causing any damage to it but yeah i think this is like not the, the worst thing that could have happened and well while i said that i'm a bit disappointed like there's also a tiny mark uh, about that it's like i'm not a professional and it's all part of learning and it's not like it's completely wrecked and destroyed so i'm still quite happy because hey it's working now and it wasn't working before so yeah those marks i don't think um I don't think I told you I just said my father my father sent it to me but it's not for my father himself it's for my stepsister's daughter so uh, she plays with this and uh, I think she already played with it when it wasn't working but yeah I hope she will have uh, more fun playing with this now that it is working so yeah I'm probably gonna send it back to them I mean my father will be coming by here in like uh, well it's still like I think one one month and a bit till he will be here so I must might just send it back there so they, um, that uh, she gets to play with it sooner um, and uh, yeah this was fun <laughs> i hope you you enjoyed uh, my explanation about the stuff that i did i hope you enjoyed watching me clean this thing <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to clean it some more and then I'm going to finish the video off. Um, well, I've shown it from all sides now. I'm going to finish the video. Sorry, I'm so easily distracted. Then I'm going to finish the video by um, showing this train or this uh, engine wagon um, actually moving. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a quick video of that and uh, then this video will, will be over. So let's cut to that. So here I am again and I noticed that I kind of lost my train of thought back there. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> I also almost forgot to make all those bad train puns that I thought of, but I will manage to put them in this epilogue somehow. Um, yeah, my train of thought was uh, I was talking about my uh, stepsister's daughter and about those uh, little dents that I caused in this, uh, in, in prying this thing open. Um, and yeah, I was gonna say I don't think she will care when she's gonna play with this that uh, there are some yeah, tiny dents in it. It's just, um, well, it's a train that has been around since 1993, so I guess a few dents are to be expected anyway. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. I mean, that's, uh, that's a toy that I already could have played with when I was a child. So that's pretty cool. Um, and um, yeah, did I want to say anything else? I don't remember. But yeah, I'm finished uh, cleaning this thing up and um, I'm gonna let it do a little test drive on, whoops, whoa, <laughs> this is too much for me. Um, I accidentally uh, pushed the buttons on the bottom of this thing um because like there are uh, two more buttons uh this thing can all also go in reverse so i think that might be the reverse mode so yeah i actually uh, accidentally pressed one of those and then it starts as well so yeah let's uh let's uh have the train do a little test drive. So let me just grab the camera and uh, bu bu <laughs> um. Alright, so I guess that concludes this Let's Fix It. <laughs> As you've seen uh, just uh, a few seconds ago, I guess, the cats are quite interested in the train and um, now they are a bit uh, psyched and are running around again. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Let's Fix It. If so, leave me a thumbs up. Um, if not, leave a thumbs down, I guess. If you have any questions, anything to add, anything to tell me, please leave a comment. If you want to see more Let's Fix It in the future, then I guess uh, subscribe to my channel. That would be nice. I would really appreciate that. Um, and also remember to hit that uh, little bell icon uh, to activate notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos. Um, 
yeah this turned out quite well i think i just wish i'd started recording earlier but i guess that train has left the station <laughs> see you next time bye thanks for watching